All right. Here's what we came back with. Did you know what we were doing or what we were holding? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> but I, I do think uh, Harry there uh, will be excellent for lumbar support. Excellent. Or I emotional. Like, I do like I do like my lumbars. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's like now. Now it's a big high back chair. All right. Well, you you have a good bus, sir. <laughs> Jacob's gonna sleep off those Long Island chocolates. I only had one, and like, boy, that was. Uh... Oh, we're strapping in. All right. Very cool. All right. So I actually, what what is this thing here? Okay, oh, so that is Harry, the Matt. giant creepy doll. Oh, Matt. Oh, oh, you treat me so right. Oh, 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 oh. oh this was a mistake, bud. <laughs> this was a real big mistake. <laughs> this is how Nightwatch is going to find me, and they're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, so that is Harry, the giant oh. creepy doll. He is a giant version of like a little mascot character we have called creepy doll okay uh, who's we loading ready run? run okay and uh and uh and for a while he was a real desert bus mainstay his bottom is all ripped open uh just a little bit ripped open because when penelope was one the safe word. What? and two she would jump on this thing uh -huh. repeatedly because she thought it was so much fun that's pretty cool. But now she's probably too old for that and like all things that's the inexorable march of time for you eh how about them mid-afternoon naps? <laughs> uh, oh, Alumnat says, I wish we had a Jacob head emote to put between the hairy halves. Uh, we have one on Yzbrid Games, if you want to. Oh. People made me put my head in an emote. Oh. I was forced. <laughs> At paycheck point. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> At day job point. Uh. Uh. Hey, what's up? Oh, not a, not much. Do you want me to take over again? Yeah, go for it. You know what right, we do haven't wanna, done yet. Do you want yet? anything for your feet? Uh, I will, I will fall asleep for reals. I am so comfortable right now. It is, it's it's wild. It's just wild. Oh yeah, I forgot the time that we once threw Harry off a cliff, while the music from uh, Koyana Scotsi played. Yes. <laughs> The final, the, 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 the shot of the uh, exploding rocket. Hey, I got a weird question. Yeah. And feel free to not answer it. Okay. When's the last time this was washed? Oh, that Never. would be Feel free to not answer it. <laughs> <laughs> washed? I mean, why do you need to wash a stuffed animal just because a small child jumps on it repeatedly and it gets thrown off a cliff? It's not like we threw it off into a cliff of garbage. It no, no, I'm, I'm sure that... Cliff of dog It's perfectly clean dirt. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it is... Perfectly clean dirt. And now, now, actually, I do say that uh, chat tells me that Harry's been washed, and I believe them over my own memories. <laughs> I mean, don't you? If they say it's true, they can just make it true, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they can just literally manipulate reality at this point. So according Ooh. to chat, right, yeah. Harry's been washed at least once a year. Which is all you need to wash a stuffed animal for. I mean, if enough people believe, you can change the consensus, I guess. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. what, well, now that information is so digital, if you just change, you know, the digital representation of reality is one way. You change the digital representation, will not reality follow? I very, very much want to buy you uh, a... a there, there's a, there's a core rule book I very much want to buy you, but I don't know if you have time to read it. Which one is it? Uh, Mage the Ascension. There yeah. you go, buddy. Yeah. You knew where I was going. You yeah. a toy represent. Yeah. Oh. Oh. God. Their sphere was entropy. How you're could the, I not? You're the best. You know. You're the best. I know. <laughs> and so and so modest. Uh, yeah, Mage the Ascension. It's it's all it's it's so far up your alley. It 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 sleeps under newspapers there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> But no, no, it's not. It's just very, man. I can't think anymore. I'm too comfortable. Mage is the best book and setting, and I have never played in a game with people I ever want to see again in my life. Oh, yeah, that's really? fair. That's fair. No, I'll, I'll. Did they ever show the tenth sphere? Yes. Was it null or void? Uh, depends. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Uh, 
We'll have to talk about this later because this is big spoilers. Because oh. there was Mage, and then there was Mage twentieth anniversary edition. I read all of the uh, the the novels mm -hmm. where they implied a quote unquote canon ending to Mage the Ascension, and then there was uh, Ascension, the actual final book that had four scenarios, and mm -hmm. then a bunch of like tiny scenarios in the back. Mm -hmm. But that all gets very complicated. Uh, so Null, Void, uh, the a bunch Unity. Uh, okay. A bunch of people thought uh, they, they floated a lot of different ideas about what the tenth sphere would be. I cannot give context for this, or else we're going to be here for four hours. <laughs> I encourage you to head over to the unofficial White Wolf wiki and just do yourself a deep dive, and that's your day. Mm, uh, but, but the whole the the whole concept behind the uh, uh, the setting is personal versus consensual reality, mm. and the ability to change that. Ooh. Yeah. Like, and how much reality will slap back against you working your will on the world as opposed to the world working its will on you. Right. I, I reject your reality and substitute my own. Correct. That's exactly it. Yep. That's the whole concept behind that. Uh, I think you would, I, I think you would dig it so much you could rent yourself out as a grave digger. Oh, there's a whole, there's many branches of philosophy that deal with the sort of the subjective nature of reality and agreement therein. Yes. Uh, and I'm sure they've, I'm sure the people who wrote that book have read that too. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Excellent. It's, Good. It's a very, it's an excellent, excellent setting with really complicated roles. The people I played with were obsessed with ways of just skirting paradox. Oh, I'm sure. By doing just... <sighs> For context, paradox is what happens when reality slaps you back for doing something too big, essentially. I mean, that's a real oversimplification, but yeah. Yep, yeah, and that's 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 completely against the the, the feel of the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, meh, meh. Anyway, it's really fun. And if we ever had time, <laughs> I'd love to run it for you. Well, you know what? What I've been saying this whole... And I, unironically, what I started saying the whole pandemic was, let's talk in 2022. Yeah. And in 2020, mm. that seemed like needlessly pessimistic. Yep. But as usual, I'm not a pessimist. I just enjoy being right. <laughs> did, did you maybe look at literally any other previous pandemic and go, yeah, this is going for a year and a half, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, man, we're done. Yeah. Woo! Uh.